I'm Dave Walton, Assistant Vice President of Marketing and Communications from JBC Professional Products here at NAB 2011 and uh, been asked to talk about the 4K products that we're showing here in the booth at JBC. This is something you won't find anywhere else and we're here talking about uh, some new technology, uh, not so much products. We're using these samples here as a way of demonstrating the technology, but what JBC has developed is a new chip that will process high-speed video and high-definition video very efficiently. Uh, one of the hang-ups has been with high-resolution cameras is what do you do with all the data? You have uh, an 8 megapixel or a 10 megapixel camera, but and that's great for shooting stills, but recording 60 frames a second has been a challenge. And what we're doing is we have a chip now, an LSI, that is able to uh, record and process uh, four times HD resolution, 3840 by 2160, and do that at 60 frames a second. And it's in this little camcorder here. This is a little prototype. We don't have a model number yet. And uh, in fact, we also have the same chip, chip in a little hybrid still camera that can also process and shoot 4K video. And what we're doing is we're uh, demonstrating how uh, we can actually record, shoot, and play back 4K video in real time. And this large monitor we have here is actually showing footage that was captured with this little camera, and it's being played back from the camera right now. Uh, the chip is called Falcon Bread. It is a uh, LSI that we've developed, and uh, we plan to uh, develop this into products that will be uh, for the production community. Right now, we're showing it in a little small form factor camera, but what we're going to be doing over the next couple of months is we're going to be conducting forums around the country in five cities, New York, Los Angeles, Vancouver, Chicago, and Orlando, and we're going to be uh, calling in market-leading professionals in the production community to talk about how we can take this technology and put it into products that are very meaningful for the production community. But for now, we're showing uh, some great eye candy here in 4K. Uh, it's jaw-dropping. You can't really see it on the web. You can't even see it with a high-definition camera. Camera. But what it is is really good quality video that is recorded at uh, uh, tw uh, 3840 by 2160 resolution in real time. And uh, we're going to be uh, showing it to you. This happens to be 60p, uh, and we could uh, record it in 24p as well. Uh, the imager in the camera right now is being kept uh, secret. We're not really uh, divulging that because this is not the final camera that we're going to be shipping. As I mentioned, we're going to be developing the technology not as a small handheld camera necessarily, but as a product that the production community can use. Uh, regardless of the kind of cameras you've been looking at out there that have the higher than HD resolution density, the problem, the bottleneck, has not been in the imager, but it's been in the processing of the signal. This is something that we are very good at. We are one of the developers of the MPEG uh, and H.264 encoding system, and we're developing ways to capture and process the high-definition data in ways that will be useful and meaningful for people in production. This particular display is not our product, but the larger screen display in the next room where all that noise is coming from is actually uh, um, one of the leading 4K or uh, one of the leading projectors in the market. That happens to be an HD 3D projector. But we have also uh, two models of 4K projectors that we actively sell, uh, the DLA-SH7K and the DLA-SH4K. Both are 4K projectors that we uh, currently sell into the marketplace. We are JVC professionals, so we are focused on really two markets, the um, broadcast market, which is that half of the booth, and we're doing quite well in the broadcast market with TV stations all over the country and from dozens of groups all adopting JBC professional camcorders. And we're also uh, actively developing, I wouldn't say we're there yet, but we're developing for the uh, production market. And we expect to be able to do for the production market what we have done in the last few years in the broadcast market, and that has become a dominant supplier. And I think one of the ways we're going to get there is by leveraging the 4K technology that we've been able to develop so that uh, we can offer something that's quite unique and quite different from the other products that are on the market today.